School kids dressed in lab coats, mixing their own concoctions with evil laughter in between. No, it's not Disney meet mad scientists. These students are creating their own fusion pasta dishes in the first ever pasta making competition for secondary schools. From rendang shepherd's pie to green curry pasta to fish and ham pasta, the creations look and sound scarier than Frankenstein's monster. A rendang pasta with the shepherd's pie. Yeah. The pasta is a combination of potato and prawns. And also with stuffed mushrooms. It's actually um green green curry, green curry yeah, um with the pasta and everything. Yeah. Uh, for the Chinese is the dumplings and this solo. Yeah, and the for Italian is the tomato based spaghetti and the cocktail. Okay, so what pasta is this? Uh, this is a mix uh, mix of Mexican, Indian, and Chinese culture. We use tofu and shiitake mushrooms in this dish, and then as the sauce, we use pomodoro sauce. It's a Thai crab sauce. Then um, we marinated the fish um, using the Indian style. Is this what happens when you let secondary school kids take over the kitchen? We find out the inspiration behind some of these strange dishes and even try a few. So what's the inspiration behind this dish? Most uh, Singaporeans like Chinese food, so we try to make Chinese plus Thai. Because people like spicy stuff like curry paste. So yeah, so we make it like Asians. Right, right. And how did you how did y'all come up with this combination? We uh, like because if we want to cook Italian, it's like too common, and we think of like Chinese, but it's also common, so we try to mix it up. The thing is because that we believe that Asian people they like to do things that are simple. They don't want things to be more so complicated. Yeah. So with the mixture of Chinese stuff, maybe it will be nicer. For us, it's nice, but for the judges, we are not sure. So why these ingredients in particular? Because Mexicans eat a lot of beans as their staple. Some of the food. Um, Indians use a lot of spices in their in their dishes, and most of those food like uh, to, um, Chinese food uses tofu. So can I try? something? Uh, yeah. Take a scoop, huh? Yeah. Just scoop a bit of the, take a bit of the mushrooms and the tofu. Mm. It's not as spicy as I imagine it to be. Yeah, because um, we didn't put that much ground chili inside because Maybe, uh, we are afraid that maybe some of the judges might not like it. But the mushroom and tofu kind of goes well together. Huh? It's like a bit of a Sichuan. Yeah. That reminds me of Sichuan, Sichuan soup. How did you all come up with this dish? Um, basically, uh, Pizza Hut don't have any Indian cuisine kind of thing. So we came up with something new. Thought it would be something new. Mm. It's very distinct curry taste to it actually, yeah? Right? Yeah. It's not too spicy as I was afraid it might be, but I think it's just nice and um Mm, I think it goes that's because it doesn't I was afraid that maybe it might taste like a bit too much like me goreng. But it doesn't taste like me goreng. It's a nice uh, curry powder, spaghetti, pasta taste to it. So you can still feel that, okay, it's not like a normal, typical Indian mee goreng or Malay mee goreng or mix of both. Better. Right. Oh, with the chicken, huh? Okay, I'll try this first. I'll try separately, yeah. Mm. Nice. There's a bit of... Um, Coconut tea taste to it, huh? Mm-hmm. And coconut inside? Yeah, they're coconut mm-hmm. paste. We use coconut paste instead of coconut milk. So it gives it um, a special character in it. So you feel that, um, yeah, it's, it's something different. Yeah, it's pretty. Really like, it's not used very commonly, so we use coconut paste no, instead. Coconut paste. It's interesting because I've not tasted something like um, coconut base like this before. This is uh, fish and ham inside. Mm. 
I think I think it actually go well together: fish and ham, and the soft shell crab pasta. Because huh? I didn't expect fish and ham to go well. Like it's a pretty strange combination for me, but it's it's a bit it's quite fitting. What fish is this you use? Uh, dory. How did you actually like come up with a decision to put ham and fish together? It's pretty strange, right? Uh, cause initially it tasted weird without the ham, uh, so we like thought uh, maybe you could add ham inside. Yeah. Nice. It's not too it's not too salty as well. Cause sometimes ham can be a bit salty, but I think the fish kind of like uh, mutes that the taste a bit. No? It's nice. Strange as they look, some of the weird dishes were not too bad at all. Next. Which of these appeal to the judges? <laughs>